It's right when you get off the bridge, Brian. And do you know, on one of the days we crossed, the fog was so bad that sitting at that statute, you could not even see the entrance to the bridge. You could barely see the top of the bridge. It's very tall. But the fog was so heavy. That's the memorial right as you get off the bridge on the other side. And you couldn't even see the bottom of the bridge. That's how thick it was. Absolutely. That, that fog is tremendous, and it would certainly impede, um, you know, how, how clear that footage was. But I'm, I'm stuck on uh, the fact that that footage being released could help uh, inspire uh, folks to come forward who are on that bridge that morning. Because, you know, there are quite, as you mentioned earlier, there are quite a few joggers, uh, pedestrians, people walking to work, uh, getting their exercise in. It, this is not... That's not a dead time on the bridge. Well, Brian Fitzgibbons, it could have shown anything such as it could have shown, um, because I'm sure that there are security cams down on Christie Field where you walk up the field if you want to go that way, uh, walk up the field and then get on the bridge. There's a lot of ways to get to the entrance to the bridge. But those cameras could have shown if somebody was following her, if someone was right on her heels, if someone put their arm around her, uh, which we've heard nothing about that. But also, Brian Fitzgibbons, let's talk about the other side. Because you got to go somewhere, and no one heard a splash, and no one saw anyone jump. All right? So we don't think that happened. So she can't stay on the bridge forever. She's got to get across. She could have easily been in a group or forced to put her head down by the arm, taken by the arm, and taken off that bridge. And she may not have even emerged in, in view of the camera. 